Hey everyone, this blender tutorial is going to save your life because it's the easiest one you're going to find out there. Now, let's first start with how you actually get Blender downloaded to your computer or laptop or whatever you may be learning it on. All you have to do is search up Blender 3D in your search bar, click on the first link, and you should see this page pop up and you should just be able to click download and go ahead and download for Windows if you have Windows and for Mac if you have an Apple laptop but basically all you have to do is click download and basically your blender will start downloading and now once we get here once you open this up you're going to see this gray interface with a lot of complicated buttons and let me break it down for you because it may look very intimidating, but it's actually not as intimidating as you may think. You're only realistically going to use around like 20% of all these buttons and like pages and things over here. Like for example, this timeline until you start doing animation or simple animations, you're not gonna use. All these things like positing, geometry nodes, animation, shading, we're not even gonna focus on. All you have to focus on is what you see right here, our scene collection and this edit tab right over here. Just to give a little overview, this is our main interface. So this is where you will see everything that is actually happening, all your models, the camera, whatever's in here. And this is how you modify the textures. You can add in camera settings, things like that. But we're not even gonna get to that right now because the first thing I wanna teach you is how to move around in Blender. All right, so how you're gonna move around in Blender is if you scroll in and out, this is how you're going to zoom in and zoom out of your interface. If you hold down the scroll button and also shift, you can also move around. So this is how you're going to shift your views and move around like this. So you can rotate around like that and then press shift and now you can move to the right and to the left. You can look up and go to left, right, or even go down and go left and right. I just want you to practice moving around the interface so you can kind of get used to navigating around these models and that'll make it a lot quicker for you to get comfortable to this interface. Now there's a few shortcuts for the perspectives. If you press one on your number pad, it'll bring you to front and center of this model. Three is to the right and then seven is to see it from the top. Those are a few of the most important things and they're just really good shortcuts. I mostly use one, three, and seven. How do we actually go about changing and clicking these models? So you see we have a cube over here. If you click it, it's outlined, which means that it's selected. And in our scene collection, you can also see that the cube is selected here. And if we select the light, then you can see that the light is selected here as well. So going back into our little cube here, if you press tab, we'll enter something called edit mode. Now you see that we can click these four vertices of this cube. So if you press shift Z, you'll see that it turns invisible. And this is really helpful because if we are in this mode, we can select these, but we can't really select that one vertice that is all the way back there. But if you press shift Z, now we can select it. Press shift to select more than one, or you can also drag your cursor. Sometimes there's an easier way to go about this. Now you'll see that our selection mode is in vertices, but if you look up here to this, this three little buttons over here, you'll see that there's an option for us to pick vertices, edges, and faces. So if we press this one right here, we can select edges. And if I press shift and I select multiple edges, we can select all these edges over here. And of course, if I do shift Z then and I press shift, I can select these edges over here as well. And same with the space selection. Press shift Z, bring us back here. You can see that we can press shift. So this is the vast majority of how you are going to be editing your models, believe it or not. Super simple, right? Okay, all right, so now let's talk about the actual modeling. There's a few shortcuts and hotkeys you need to know to make this 100 times easier for yourself. Now let's go back here to object mode and just press on the cube. The main ways you're going to edit an object is by moving, sizing, rotating, and extruding. Now each of these have their own hotkeys. G is to move, 
S is to size up and down, R is to rotate, and E is to extrude. So let's go over that one by one. Whatever you are doing, whether it is extruding, moving, sizing, you can do it along an X, Y, or Z axis. The Y axis, the screen line over here, this is the X axis, and although you don't see it, there is a Z axis going this way because we are in a three-dimensional modeling software after all. Now, if we want to move an object up or down, just simply press on the cube, press G, and now you have the freedom to move it wherever we want. But most of the time, you'll be wanting to move it in a certain direction or in a certain axis. If we want to move it up, we can press G, Z and that will move the object up and down and you can simply move it up and down with your cursor. Now, what if we want to move the box right? Then we will simply press G again and now this time we will press X and we can move it here and let go. And now you've moved the box. And now let's move it up and down the Y axis. So if we press G, Y, then we've moved the box this way or we can move the box this way. All right, great. So let's move it back. I want you to practice moving the cube a couple of times just so you get familiar with it. Again, this seems very elementary, like, oh my God, like how do I get to the good stuff? But trust me, you need to get very familiar with all of this before you can even do anything. So really take your time learning the fundamentals and the foundations before you try to move on to anything else. All right, now S is to size. So once again, let's click this cube in object mode and press S. And now we can make the cube bigger. We can also make it smaller. Now here's the thing about editing and modeling in Blender. If we press tab, all right, so if I press S here, then it'll just shrink this one phase that we've selected. Same with edges. So if we go like that and like that, press S, you'll see that these are shrinking while everything else is staying the same. All right, now let's move on to rotation. So once again, we can rotate an object around the X, Y, or Z axis. So if we press R and we press Z, then we can turn it this way. If we press R and Y, then we can turn it to the side like this. And if we press R and X, of course, we can move it like kind of upwards, go like that. And that's all you need to know about rotating. All right, let's move on to extruding our objects now. So once again, if I go here and I press E, then we can go like that and extrude the face. So if I want to now shrink this face and I can also press S and shrink it all the way down. And same thing here, if I want to extrude it again, we can extrude, we can extrude on top of extrusions. So press E again, and you'll see that we can do it here again. And let's say we want to rotate this or tilt this face, then now we can press R, X, and then rotate it along this axis and press S to bring it down. So you see how we can like use the different combinations of moving, rotating, and scaling to really create and model a lot of things. And the thing about Blender is that most of the things that I've created, I've created all from just using a square. And you'll see that next time when I teach you how to model a strawberry, but this is really 90% of all the keys that you'll be using. Um, this kind of looks like a little baboon or monkey face, which I think is really funny. And let me teach you how to add objects. So to add anything, you will always use Shift A. All right, Shift A will pop up this little screen that says add, and this is where you'll find your menu of how to actually add a lot of objects. So if I press plane, you'll get a plane. And also this is called like the origin. So this is where everything is going to spawn. If you shift and right click, it'll move the origin here. So now let's do shift A again and add a cube. There we go, there's our cube. We can press S to bring it down again. Now let's shift right click again. That changed our origin. And let's say I want to add a UV sphere. There we go. That just spawned in our UV sphere and now we can move this around as much as we want. So. There you go, our first little tutorial. I hope you got a little bit familiar with the interface of this and how to add objects and move and edit them around. This is really 
the most basic foundational stuff you have to know. So I highly encourage you to just kind of get familiar, press G, R, S, just experiment with it. Even if you create nothing substantial, just kind of like test it and experiment with using those hotkeys and shortcuts. And by the next video, you'll learn how to use what you've learned here to create a nice little strawberry. So I hope you learn from this video and I'll see you in the next one.